Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. It's a new year and it's time for a new unboxing. And I picked up a bunch of these Nook tablets from Barnes & Noble the other day. Uh, these are competitive with the Android Fire devices, but the difference is, is that they have the Google Play Store on them. So you can get uh, YouTube, for example, to install on these along with other uh, Google Play applications without having to hack them or do anything crazy like that. And they're competitively priced. So the seven inch tablet here, I paid $49.99 for. Uh, the 10.1 inch tablet goes for uh, $130. And I also got the $40 uh, keyboard case for the 10 inch tablet for the heck of it. So less than 250 bucks for the pile here. Crazy thing though, is that each of these came in its own box. Rather than ship them all together to me, they ship them all separately, including the keyboard. Uh, so you wonder why Amazon's doing so well. It's because they are better at freight efficiency. And then they had all these advertisements in the boxes also when I got them there. So let's unbox the seven inch tablet first. Uh, and we're going to have a full review of this soon on my main channel at lon.tv. Uh, and we'll go through all of the specs in that one as well. I believe these are probably going to, again, be competitive with what we've seen on uh, some of the An Amazon tablets that we have looked at previously. So we'll undo the box here and see what it looks like. And this one has 16 gigs of storage. I think they probably have two gigs of RAM on them, so they're not going to be spectacular performers. Uh, but for 50 bucks, you know, if it works, it might be good enough. So here you go. Feels pretty nice. Reminds me of some of those cheaper Chinese tablets that we've looked at, but you know what? The Amazon ones feel the same way as well. So you have an SD card slot here, camera on the back, USB port, um, and that is pretty much it. So I'm gonna, again, fire these up and get them all working on the full review that you'll see soon, but this is the initial impression. So that is the seven inch. We'll let that one boot up. And now we'll take a look at the 10 inch. I'm eager to see how this one compares to Amazon's 10-inch tablet because I really liked that one. I thought that was a good value. And the fact that you can get your Google Play apps installed on these, I think, adds some additional value to the mix. So let, let's see what's on, inside the box here. These boxes are very high quality here. All right. And here is the 10-inch tablet. Obviously larger than the other one. Feels about the same from a quality perspective. So... Not spectacular, a lot of plastic on them. Pretty much the same configuration. You got the SD card slot here. Uh, there is a headphone jack on this one and there is also one on this one. So you got the new iPad beat there, right? Uh, camera on the back and front and you have the same on the other one here. And that is pretty much it. This one does not appear to have stereo speakers. Now on the bottom here, you've got the Pogo plugs for the keyboard. So we'll unbox that one next. And we'll get this booted up. This one does have a larger display, obviously. I think it's a higher resolution as well. It's full HD, uh, so it is 1080p on this one. I think this one is uh, closer to 720p. So you do get a full 1080p on here. One thing I'm noticing, though, and it's probably hard to see on camera, is that the, you can see kind of like a, some of the capacitors for the touch display uh, when you have the light reflected a certain way. You might There you go. You can see those lines there. Uh, so you'll notice that if you have things reflecting off of it. And that's something you'll see typically on these inexpensive tablets. They're not uh, going to be as high quality, of course, as like an iPad or something that costs a lot more. And this is the Nook keyboard case. And this is for the 10-inch one only. And this will connect up to those Pogo plugs. So let's see how this looks. We've got some styrofoam in here. And I think this is magnetic. Oh, it's got, yeah, it's got a magnetic thing that closes up. And we can put that tablet in there. So what you want to do is line up these pogo plugs with the connector on the keyboard. And it doesn't magnetically latch in. Maybe it does. Yeah, it's just not a strong magnet. And then you can get it going there. The problem is this thing kind of flops around on you. I don't like that. I guess you can fold it around back. Otherwise, it, it's kind of hanging out there. So you just fold it around like that when you have it in that mode. And then if you want to have it work as a keyboard, I think there's a stand here. Oh, I see how that works. Okay, so you fold, this has like a hinge on it here. So you can fold it like that. Um, you gotta get it in there. This is not the, not the best scenario, but it does seem to work okay. And you can kind of make some adjustment to it. Not bad. We'll cover this in more detail when I do the full review. Um, doesn't feel as good as my iPad does, but it's not to be expected given the price point here. Uh, the keys are a little small, um, but not bad. Um, I don't believe this is a backlit keyboard. And then you can fold it up here 
and get everything back in. The problem that I'm finding here is that it does disconnect from that pogo plug really easily. So it might be the only real issue I have with it there. But there you go. Not bad for less than 200 bucks. Pretty good deal. So what I'm going to be doing soon is a full review of both of these tablets. We'll probably review them together uh, so we can get a feel as to how each of them works. And we'll have a full review again coming up soon on the main channel at lon.tv. And I'm really encouraged by the fact that you are getting uh, the standard Google interface here when you pop onto it. So these should uh, really do some things perhaps that the Amazon tablets don't, especially if you have a lot of uh, apps on the Android Google Play Store, for example. And of course, you'll get the full version of YouTube on these too. So more to come. Stay tuned on the main channel at lon.tv for a full review coming soon. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.